Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of our Prehistoric Kingdom Beta. Last time, we completed Capricorn Camarasaurus, but today, today's going to be the last episode. We have Pachyvinosaurus and the Woolly Mammoth to complete, but I figured they kind of shared northern, a little more boreal environments, or at least in my head canon. <laughs> so I figured that I should do a double exhibit, a wombo combo of greatness, to really show off these two awesome animals. The theme here today is simple, okay? There are a lot of aspects of paleontology and a lot of things that people are interested in because it's such a huge subject. Some people, like myself, are more into the dinosaurs, but others, like Paleozoic animals, Cenozoic animals, some are more pterosaur driven, aquatic driven, you know, people prefer different things. So I think that the biggest beta move you can do is to not appreciate or respect the other fields of science, of paleontology, and to think that yours is just a go and hate on everyone else. No, we should appreciate all the hard work that everyone puts into this field and to science in general. I'm not saying you have to love everything, but you know, at least show some respect for the other guys. And this is a good lesson for paleontology and science because there are no moral or legal conundrums to be involved in this message. So I hope you enjoy this final exhibit in the beta, but in about two months we'll come early access and we'll come back in the prehistoric kingdom again for a third series, a new park. So guys, I'll see you then. We are back for a final time in the Prehistoric Kingdom Beta, our Beta Park. We've come a long way from our battle bus, the bathroom for the queens out there, CPU with the donation sign on it, oh man, and I miss the bath watered Montosaurus. It's been fun, it's been very fun and I've enjoyed doing this playthrough for you guys at home. Just a fun way, an enjoyable way of showing off the new content for Prehistoric Kingdom, a game that I've been following for many years at this point. 
I was what in the middle of high school, a sophomore, when I started following this project. Oh, the carousel. And I think all the dinosaurs are here. Where's the Parasaurolophus? Protoceratops is back? Oh, okay, they didn't come back as I spawned them back in. But we have Protoceratops back in. There we go. Looking beautiful as ever. And among Aves, I brought back the Microraptor. And the Archaeopteryx, are they still there? That's a hard no. Why do they keep despawning? I have no idea why they're despawning. Okay, I guess the game just hates me. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, how do I get out of here? Oh, I like that. Okay, got it. Capricorn Kamarasaurus. And here, the final build. Oh, I forgot that these guys over here. Oh, well. <laughs> Let's look at the final build. Don't really have a catchy name for it. Maybe you can come up with one in the comments. Because the idea is a little too complex. It can't be hit on the head with a single phrase. But I still like how it came out. And one thing I do like about this game is how I mostly use materials from the same biome and yet both halves look completely different. Right, let's look at the Packy Rhinosaurus half first. I made it more Mesozoic. Like the Mesozoic side, Cenozoic side over here. This is a lot more ferns, there's no grass, more gravel around, more rocky. Oh hi there. Hello there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and then this side is the Cenozoic side where there's grass. This is supposed to be more of the mammoth steppe, open grasslands climate. Because if I just made a forest, the mammoths would starve to death since they mostly ate grass. <laughs> Hi there. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, that is beautiful shot. Oh, get out of here, so this could be thumbnail material. Thumbnail material, boys. Yeah, I wanted to create more the Prince Creek formation from Alaska, but uh, this is the wrong species of Pachyrhinosaurus. I used their uh, P. canadensis skin, when really the dinosaur that lived there was Pevatorum, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I think they look really good, like pretty much every animal, every dinosaur in this beta. Oh, you just went through that tree. Okay, we have the Jesus Pachyrhinosaurus here. Good to know, good to know. I, I love the pattern. Not only is it super detailed and textured, but I love how the breaks of orange just you know break up, add some flavor to the gray and brown of it. It looks really beautiful. Oh, okay, now I'm just hiding in the tree. Do you have friends? You must have friends that are less annoying than you. <laughs> I'm so used to playing Jurassic World Evolution 2 at this point. I look for, like, the map so I can go and see the other dinosaurs. No, there's no map yet, and I just have to find them my heckin' self. Where are you? Well, I found where they're going. They all decided that they're just gonna escape. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Yes. Right, let me get the lighting up. The lighting is really pretty, but it's hard to see the dinosaurs themselves. <laughs> yeah, so right now I'm just terrified of what's to come while I'm looking at these packy rhinosaurs. I know I'm going to have to watch that Walking with Dinosaurs movie from 2016. I'm going to have to review it and suffer through that movie and all the footage I have to watch and rewatch over and over again. Oh no. I don't really like the people of Torm in this game. It's the very feathery, fluffy one that they brought in. And yeah, the concept is fun and it's interesting, I guess. You know, they lived in Alaska, it would have been cold and they need warmth, but it just looks kind of silly to me. <laughs> I don't know. And I'd actually be surprised if that were accurate. But if we found fossils that showed that, that would be a shock. This is more of what I'm expecting. What did they- are, is everyone escaping? Where are they even going to? <laughs> what is this mass migration away from the habitat? What, am I going crazy? Are they going crazy? 
I would have sworn that they were confined to this area. <laughs> I put mountains here, but they just went total Skyrim horse and climbed the mountains. Let's look at the mammoth now, I guess. Okay, the mammoth. Very pretty, very nice. Very cool, Kanye. I only put females in the herd. I said, I think I only put females. Yeah, you're a female too. Just to show the kind of like modern African elephants, the men get kicked out when they grow up. So the men are just running around on their own while the women form herds and live together and protect each other and the children. So I wanted to show that off a little. But I guess they all decide to make a break for it. I don't know what they're thinking. If they're like going to the promised land. And in the promised land, it's gonna be so grand. We'll have our fill from the grill as much as we can stand. Well, I guess they're done. <laughs> Let's go back and look at the Taurosauruses for the last time. The exhibit is kind of small. I must admit. But hey, at least they like to stay in it. They're happy. Man, both of their skins are fantastic. Dang, okay. <laughs> and lastly, 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 let's look. Well, here's a little no drip, but let's look at Willem, the real Chad here. Willem, is that you? Willem. <laughs> ah, total Chad, total Chad. No, and then there's no drip. Hi, no drip. Oh man, yeah, he really has no drift. That is that is sad to watch. That is our beta park done. I had a lot of fun doing this. A lot of hours, but all of the hours were fun. I really enjoy this game. It's already a great game. It's shaping up to be one for sure. For a beta version, this is loads of fun already. And you can get so creative with it. The animals are excellent. Okay, they bug out a little sometimes and have not their full range of behaviors, but still very excellent. More behaviors than Jurassic World Evolution after launch and after DLCs and after updates. <laughs> this is still better at beta. So it just shows you the love and care that Blue Meridian put into this. Man. Oh, oh, okay. There's a. <laughs> oh, did a little break dance for us. Okay. Well, I can't wait for early access, and we will be back with a new build. A very new build. But, I guess, until then, remember if you enjoyed this video, to please leave a like, subscribe, and check out my social media. See you next time.